Guys, this volume was the most confusing, but here's a review and also an explanation. Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's me, Irvin, with another volume review of uh, Kiyu Jitsu Jibaku Club. It is the last volume, just three volumes to the series. Um, it is one that you can find online, so make sure you go look for it. Uh, guys, also, uh, this is one that I reviewed for uh, volume one, two, and three, so make sure you watch all three videos if you have not done so by now. Uh, like I said in the opening part, it is kind of confusing, so I will, I'm going to explain, uh, I'm going to review part of the, the volume as a whole, and then I'll try to explain the ending, because it's a very confusing ending, and uh, I've done my my part into studying the ending and see what it is all about. So, before I continue though, a few things, if you have not done so, make sure you subscribe to my channel, uh, make sure you press that bell button if you guys don't mind and you'll be notified when I go live or when I upload videos. There is a giveaway happening right now on my channel. You just have but a few days to be part of it so make sure you go check it out. It should be my channel trailer so uh, if you haven't gone to the giveaway video, follow the instructions, comment. Right now I have more likes in the video than comments so make sure you're commenting in that video so I know that you, you want to be part of the giveaway. So go and do that. Uh, also, if you want to watch more manga reviews uh, or if you want to suggest me some manga reviews, let me know in the comment section. Um, I'll, I'll, I will uh, for sure consider reviewing more that maybe you guys want me to review. Uh, I obviously have a genre that I like, but... I, I, I always loved expanding further uh, from what I like. Uh, two warnings to this review. One, this series is a mature series. I do like to warn those who watch my videos because not everyone is an adult who watches my videos. So the series itself is for adults. It's, for, it's a mature content series. So I am warning you guys. Um, this is a mature one. If you're not of age yet, you will be reading it on your own accord or obviously hopefully with permission of your parents uh and then second warning guys it is that i will talk about it in some detail and i will explain the ending so if you don't want the ending to be ruined then don't watch past this point uh again kiyujitsu jibaku club is a series that i've been doing for a while and it's, it's kind of confusing but essentially the third volume uh, is the conclusion of the entire thing. And if you guys remember, uh, we have one girl who has been extremely bullied. I mean, this girl was um, raped in the school premises. Guys and girls watched and they just laughed and thought it was funny. People would uh, mark her desk with a knife. They would just bully her until... Uh, I mean, it, until she basically moved to a different school and, and no one actually noticed, or everyone noticed, but no one actually knew that she had moved to a different school uh, for people that, you know, are being bullied and, and are going to a, another education system. So, anyways, she is not taking her revenge and she has done all types of killings and uh, embarrassment videos and everything's being live. And now she is basically, in the third volume, she is trying to negotiate with the cops. She's outside holding the one and only girl that actually um, noticed her and tried to do something about it. Uh, at the same time, she was also the one that started the whole bullying system So uh, against her. So uh, so anyways, she, she has her as a hostage and there's a sniper pointing at her at the uh, crazy girl's head and everyone's trying to calm her down and she's just s spitting out the truth, you know, everyone saw this, the teacher saw this, my parents saw this, no one ever stopped it. It's like, why did no one do anything about it? Um, and eventually, once she removes the trigger off the bomb, she's shot dead, and um, she looks at the girl that she had hostage and said that she basically protected her because she was the one that actually didn't do much about it. Um, she does, or, or is able to denote den they note a bomb killing more people in the building and hurting cops. Um, the story then kind of changes its um, 
story to the conclusion of the adults. Now, if you remember who the adults are, these are people that uh, were part of the uh, high school incident that happened three, five years ago. Um, essentially, all they're trying to figure out who is the accomplice of the guy that did it. And we find out it's the girl. Uh, it's one of the girls that, that's there with them. And she essentially did it because she lived a, a bullied life with her sister. Now, she wasn't bullied, but she tells the story about how her sister was bullied to the extreme as well, so much that she went and killed herself. Later on, she found out that she actually didn't kill herself, but she was in the roof and someone pushed her and uh, was actually, you know, a murder. And her parents and her tried to go against the school and the school just didn't do anything. They covered it up. The dad died in an accident. Her mom committed suicide because of all the things that were happening. And she was left an orphan, essentially. So she kind of understood how what bullying did in, in someone's life. Not just to the person, but to the person's family. So um, they go on and uh, in explaining that she helped him. And the, the people are trying to figure out why she did it. And, and essentially, she kind of tells them that story. And uh, she then throws herself off a building because she wants to end her life, I guess. And the guy insists there's someone else. Who else is behind it? Who else is behind it? He knows, you know, you guys got C4. That's not something that you guys just make in your house or buy in any store. So where did you get it from? So he knows there's still more uh, detailed, more uh, of a who people more involved. So anyways... Uh, she does that, and essentially it all ends. He wakes up in the hospital, and everyone who survived is there. Um, some of the people that were with him, that met with him, survived. Others didn't. Um, and then we get this weird ending to the whole series where uh, people are talking in hoods, and they're saying, uh, finally people are noticing and are not bullying kids as much. And then they go through this whole series of people of people who are being bullied and the bullies are, are being told by other people in the, in the class, like, stop bullying him. He can come one day with a bomb and kill us all. Like, don't do that. Don't do that. So kids that are being bullied are not being bullied anymore and now being protected because everyone's afraid of now the kids that are being bullied that he'll come up with a bomb. Um, but then they keep talking. The this, this secret group takes keeps talking they're on hoods uh or you can't see their faces at least and they keep talking about how uh it's just a cycle it's going to come back eventually and um it does it comes to a we see a scene of a, a kid uh who's being bullied and then we see a scene of the girl the girl who survived uh the entire thing she's being bullied because uh, she she was the one that caused the whole thing. She's the one that told people that uh, the girl smelled. So now they're bullying, bullying her for causing the death of so many people in her classroom. And they're, they're extreme. They're extreme at the bullying. So much that she gets out of school and goes to this other school. And then at the end, we see the face of some girl. And she says, Sensei... Like, I guess I'm, I'm paraphrasing. Sensei, you're with me or something like that. And, and then we see a teacher's face. Now, who are these people? That is the biggest question that people have been asking. Uh, and in fact, there's a whole Reddit about it. And I, I read through some of that stuff. And I, I went back through chapters and kind of noticed. Because in, in most mangas, when they do a reveal, they put the name at the bottom. Like, this is what this person is. This manga didn't do that. So we're so confused of who they, they are. The girl is very similar to the survival of it. So we kind of, I guess, see that she's part of the secret group now. Because she's the one being bullied as well. And then the sensei that she's talking about, he kind of resembles. And some people in the Reddit kind of uh, backed up this idea and this, this theory. Because I, I guess the biggest question is who's the teacher? Because the girl, you kind of kind of kind of assume it is her. But the teacher, who is he? Um, if you read back in some of the chapters, he resembles a teacher of the kids that are being bullied. So in that school where all the kids end up. So he basically recruiting kids from that school. Um, 
they have this ideology of going against bullying and this is how they, they go against it. They put fear into kids uh, by showing them that if you bully other people, this is going to happen to you. Um, is that the right way to do it? Of course not. <laughs> That's insane. Um, you know, I want to cut your finger so you won't do it again. Like, you know, you don't you do not do that. Uh, that's kind of pretty extreme. Uh, so, uh, this series was a little bit weird and the ending was not pleasing to me. It just seemed like they were trying to get across... Uh, a bullying political view of how people view it as well as how people are committing, you know, these atrocities. And obviously this is a serious um, part of our, our society where kids are killing other kids or and, and fellow teachers because they're being bullied. Now, I understand that. And I think they were trying to make a manga out of it and to make people understand that it's just a cycle because we just don't learn that bullying is not a good thing. Um, but at the same time, the extreme of bullying that I was seeing, it, it just seems like that's that doesn't happen everywhere. Uh, you have to have you have to be a very 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 horrible person and class as a whole to do all that bullying. I mean, it, it just. The extreme bullying that they were showing in this series, it just seems way out of hand. So, because of all that, because of how maybe unrealistic they were going the right direction, but then it became too extreme, way too extreme, I feel like this series deserves a low score or a meh score of a 5. 5 out of 10, I think, is what it deserves. It has some its gore. I like gore, but at the same time, it, it just was a weird one. It was unnecessary at some times, so 5 out of 10 is what I give it. Let me know in the comment section if you read this one already and uh, what you guys think. And let me know if you agree with uh, the way I described the ending. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, go be part of that giveaway. Subscribe. My goal is 3,000, and we're so close. So thank you so much, guys, for your love and support. And like always, don't be strangers. See you guys.